Hello, good day everyone. This is Joe Brand. Welcome to the Free Mind. Why it's called Free Mind? Free Mind because it's free to learn, it's nice to learn. So you can watch all my videos over and over again. So thank you so much for supporting, for watching all my videos. I really do appreciate all of your comments and I hope you are you are still watching my videos up to now. So thank you so much for that. Okay, so for today's, I'll be explaining to you, or I'll be discussing to you our lesson three in the subject of science, technology, and society. So I've been checking my, my YouTube every now and then. So I've noticed that a lot of students are, are very eager to learn my subject, technology, and society. So I am really trying to catch up with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. So for our today's discussion, is I'll be explaining to you our lesson three in the subject of indigenous science and technology in the Philippines. So why do you need to 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 learn this? Because because indigenous science is very important for everyone. We need to appreciate the beauty of our indigenous knowledge okay so let's try to to go back in time so during early times okay so during early times we filipinos we are known to be what we are we love to invent things we love to learn things we are so eager and curious and we are trying to explain the reason behind all of these things and that was before during early times so let's try to see what is happening to us now right indigenous science because it is built within you why it is called indigenous knowledge because it comes from you it is embedded in you therefore we all have different knowledge man that's why my knowledge about this thing is very limited compared to your knowledge because the more you get knowledge the more you can invent things the more you can create things the more you can do more with your life if you know a lot of things and that is very important okay so let's try to to embrace the idea of indigenous knowledge system so when you talk about indigenous knowledge that means it is embedded based on your life experiences so the more you have the more you acquire knowledge the more you encounter a lot of life experiences therefore the more the more you you can do more with your life because you are so equipped to learn a lot of things indigenous knowledge is embedded in the daily life experiences of young children for example your parents your parents are your first teacher right and your parents they are the one who taught you your first lesson okay that is embedded that is built within you that's why ato ujung tanaw no kung giunsa di ayta how did our parents taught things with us okay so kung ingon imong parents na education is very important for you and that's why you always try to to finish your studies because you have that knowledge and that is that becomes your indigenous knowledge and when your parents tell you to respect each other, so that is embedded within you. That's why you are required or you, you, you give respect to everyone because that is your indigenous knowledge. So let's put, when you talk about indigenous knowledge, let's put something good and positive values for our children so that they can have a good indigenous knowledge within themselves. Okay, so when you talk about indigenous knowledge, it is, that's why it's very crucial, no? When you talk about indigenous knowledge, the more daghan ug nakatuna ng usa ka bata, the more siyang maayo, the more siyang kahibaw mo diskarte sa iyang kaugalingon. And that becomes indigenous knowledge. But make sure lang it's a good and positive knowledge ang atong get-transmit sa ilahang huna-huna. Right? So do, do you agree with me nga? mas mas grabi ang knowledge sa mga tao nga gikan that they are really having a hard time compare sa mga bata nga gihataga na to tanan okay maybe possibly na siya ay ipikto sa hunahuna sa bata why there is a change sa ilahang sa ilahang panghunahuna it's because of their daily life experiences 
it's because unsa ilang na encounter every day it's because of their struggles that's why it is embedded in their minds nga dapat dapat i need to do my best to be better and that is our indigenous knowledge system okay so ma feel man ni mo you can feel it you can feel it if if ang bata is is having a good indigenous knowledge or if ang bata they are having a bad indigenous knowledge and let's go back to how we are being treated by our parents or how we are being taught by our parents that may influence the way we think about things that may influence our own behavior okay how about indigenous science once again your indigenous knowledge is the foundation of indigenous science therefore we can say that without without your indigenous knowledge there is no indigenous science because it is entirely dependent okay it is part indigenous science is part of the indigenous knowledge indigenous knowledge is 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 brought by the different groups of people right so it is composed of a different groups of people because our indigenous knowledge it includes a lot of things a lot of array of knowledge a lot of expertise practices what else a lot of things that guide our human behavior so therefore when you talk about indigenous science it is a collection collection of everything it is a collection of everything based on the daily life experiences of the people okay so there are a lot of people who also try to explain the the importance of indigenous science again indigenous science is part is part of your indigenous knowledge okay so must need that it would be better if we acquire more knowledge so that we can contribute more to our indigenous science we can do more we can implement more we can help more okay so so let's let's start with this person no mr ogawa claim that indigenous science is is a collective practice indigenous science is based on the experiences of the people within the community and that is indigenous science another person also stated that indigenous science includes everything everything you see here everything you see now and that is the output and that is what you call indigenous science okay because of the pandemic we acquire a lot of knowledge we acquire a lot of things and we know how to prevent the spread the spreading of the virus we know how to protect ourselves because of the indigenous science okay because of the knowledge nga indigenous knowledge sa mga scientists we need a lot of people like that who are trying to explain things who are trying to do more who are trying to understand the the this kind of pandemic magunsa na lang ta if wala sila it's quite hard no to to pretend that you know it but you really didn't know it right so that's why a lot of people would say indigenous science includes everything also claim that indigenous science is is a part of culture yes yes it's true it's part of culture because what you are doing now is possibly the effect of our indigenous science and how do you deal with science is largely dependent on the cultural practices of the people okay so kung unsa kuno ta mo deal sa mga butang nga nakita nato karon it's possibly the influence of of the cultural practices of the people okay for me indigenous science is really important because we can get knowledge from that data but because of our knowledge because of science therefore makaingon ta sa yun ra di ay sa yun ra di ay jud kontrolon ang pandemic no but i know it's not murag at first we are so anxious we are so tired of this pandemic but as time passes by murag na anad na lang ta because we have that knowledge we have our own indigenous knowledge so just stay home uh get vaccinated we know what to do because of indigenous science 
indigenous science it includes everything everything what you do today and everything what will what you will do in the future okay so another person you also stated that because of indigenous science because of indigenous science there's a lot of good and positive values that we acquire. What are those? Ingunsia, number one, because of indigenous science, we can, we do have our motivating attitude, right? We try to explain things, we try to explore things. Um, we, we go to school, um, we are so eager to learn about things because of indigenous science. We know how to cooperate, we know how to protect ourselves, we have our self-reflection, we have our practical attitude. So, Murag, there's a change of behavior because of what we are experiencing now. Before, we are so, we are so attached with going outside, but because of the pandemic, we prefer to stay home for our safety. And that's a sudden shift, and that is our new normal. So, before, we are so anxious, yes, but now I think it's, Murag nag-anam anam na. Murag it nang lesson na ang kahadlok no because we have our own indigenous knowledge now on how to protect ourselves. Okay. So Pawilin by the year 2005 will also explain that indigenous science is it is the interplay between the society and the environment. For me, yes, it is the interplay between the science and the environment because what you see what you see here or what you see now based on the people around you possible that is the reason how do you interact with them so because of our because of the pandemic we try to to limit our social interaction because that's that's how the pandemic works right the more you you get closer to them there's a possibility that you will get infected okay so it is the interplay between the society and the environment the environment is the people around you if they are wearing masks you also wear masks if they are wearing face shield they all, you also wear face shield so that's that is the interplay between the society and the environment so ingon sila get vaccinated so we all do the same we get vaccinated for our safety and that is the output of indigenous science Okay, so we follow. Because of indigenous science, we follow. Okay, so this one. Indigenous science is, is, is a continual competition between a member of distinct views of nature. We have different views of nature about indigenous science, right? We have, we have differences, it's true. But when you talk about indigenous science, the more you acquire knowledge, the more you will become competitive because you can explain more you can you can talk to them more because you acquire more knowledge that's why a lot of students here in the philippines they also wanted to to get more knowledge that's why they apply for an for uh they, they will apply as an international student to go there to study there to get more knowledge so that they can apply it here and share something and contribute something for the benefit of the people. And that's the positive outcome of indigenous science. And take note, our ind indigenous science is we get it from our traditional knowledge and practices. Normally, uh, what is going on around us is possible that it is, it is caused by our tradition, traditional knowledge and practices. So how did we fight the virus from spreading? We wear masks, we keep our distance, we use alcohol. So that is, that is the output of the indigenous science. It is derived from our knowledge and practices. So to better explain the idea of indigenous, indigenous science is Pawilin by the year 2006 created a simple framework. And he, he also pointed out that indigenous science is composed of traditional knowledge yes indigenous science is composed of traditional knowledge ang atong knowledge ang atong knowledge nagamit na siya mga skills talents abilities okay asa man ka naka naka come up ana nga skill guided by the values and the culture of the people 
perfect example is this um mga students no they are trying to come up with a good thesis writing ba or thesis no so they come up with this idea uh they try to help the they try to help the lives of the road street sweeper you know to make their lives easier so they they think of something a process and how they and how they can help them so that's why they come up with this idea that using bike so the bike can clean the road easily so that's a good thing because of the culture in akita nila they come up with their own process skills and because of their own process skills based ilang panghuna huna based ilang knowledge it will go up to becoming an indigenous science because it is it is part of the invention if the government will support them that's a good that's good for them right so it will help the people so instead of the road street sweeper to be to be tired all day they can use bike and it's good for their health right so if you're going to ask me indigenous science is very very important it gave birth to the development of science and technology take note what will happen to us if there is no indigenous science what will happen to us if we don't have scientists who will study for it who, who will study the transmission of one variant to another variant if without indigenous science so we need science right we need science okay so because science can really help or can really make our lives easier science can help us to discover more and it all started with the with our basic knowledge it all started with our knowledge and from that knowledge we can process on how to do it we, we will have our processing skills we all have our talent we all have our skills our curiosity our eagerness to learn that's why we need to develop it more to be to be embedded in ourselves and to become an indigenous science or to become an indigenous knowledge for us so in understanding the natural environment and in coping with our everyday life science is there that's why unesco recognized indigenous science as a historical and valuable contribution to science and technology thank you so much for watching i hope you are learning from this video and i hope that you get something out of this very quick video thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you are interested to get to know more of my, of my videos, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to get to know more. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.